Hi everyone, just a quick video today. I ordered some stuff from heylittlemagpie.com. Um, I say it's a little haul, I did spend about £30, but I think I got quite a lot for my money because quite a lot of it was in sale. Um, so I ordered three Project Life sampler kits. So we've got a Maggie Holmes one, a Dreamy and Inspire. So um, I got them. Um, I got some little um, tiny alphabet stickers sheets. These are all like 49p each. So I've got the outdoor green. Um, I've got the multi reds. Tiny Halloween ones. And tiny blue. They're by Adorn It. Um, I also got the what is it crate paper journey stickers these are you get 53 just little puffy stickers and you've got obviously little little arrows feathers stars other arrows little border strips I thought they were quite cool um, I'm not sure let me just get the price list okay so them ones were two what were they £2.50, £2.99 I think, or £2.50, I can't work it out on the price list. Um, the little, these ones were definitely 49p a sheet, and the Project Life sampler kits were £3.75. Um, I also picked up a Gossamer Blue um, alphabet, like kind of like, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're called Puffy Played Alphas. Uh, by the Get Happy by Alison Pennington, which it says here on the top. Um, I thought they were quite cool. Kind of reminds me of a picnic blanket for some reason. Um, they were... How much were they? They were £2.49 for them ones. Um, I also picked up some Project Life um, 6x8. They're the Design 4. Um, basically you get, they're like, as you can see here on the picture, just a, enough space for four um, cards. So the only thing is, I'm not very impressed with these. I normally use the Snap by Simple Stories ones, and they're really good quality. These are really, really thin plastic, so I'm not very impressed, considering they cost me, like, double what the Snap ones cost. I mean, the pack of them was... Um, Completely forgotten what they were. Four ninety nine, whereas the snap ones are like three pounds or two pounds ninety nine. Um, I also got these stickers. They're kind of they're gossamer blue ones. They look very festive. Uh, they're called happy stickers. You obviously have got like happy holiday, fa la 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 la, merry, and a little Christmas trees and stuff. But there's a few things that you obviously could use for other things that weren't Christmassy. Um, they were. Um, hmm, how much were they? Yeah, happy. They were one pound forty nine, so that's not bad. And they're kind of they're quite thick card stickers as well. Um, then I got some big, um, what are they called twelve by twelve sheets of paper, which obviously you can cut up. Um, this first one that you're looking at now is um, who is this by? This one is Pink Paisley. It's a Solstice Del Rey. This one was 44p, so I'm going to cut these up and use them in my Project Life album. Um, I've just literally got back from a weekend at the beach for my birthday, so I'll be using things like this in that spread. Right, the other side of this is just literally like a ombre kind of effect. So I'd say that was only like 44p, so that's a bargain. The next one I got is called uh, Scrumptious Corn on the Cob. Um, this one looks kind of autumnal, you've got pretzels, some pumpkins, things like that. So again, I can use some of it now, but I'm going to use some of it in the autumn time as well, like when I've been out and we've gone to fireworks and things like that. This one was also 44p, um, that's the reverse side of it. Um, I bought this one, which I'm obviously going to use for Halloween. Um, keep calm and spook on. And you've got like October, loads of different things. The reverse side of that is just like a grey wood grain effect. This is made by Bella Boulevard, it says. Halloween Halloween Magic, that was 44p. 
Um, I bought this one, which is a crepe paper one called Notes and Things. I absolutely love the print on this. I'm actually tempted. I bought this not to use in a scrapbook. I want to put it in a frame and put it on the wall because I really love the pattern. Um, that one was 44p as well. That's the reverse side of it. So I'll just get some of the Project Life cards out and show you them. Okay, so this is the Inspire Project Life cards. These are not my favourite, I must admit, because I don't like the writing style on the cards. Um, let me just take you in so you can actually see it. Here we go. So as you can see, this one says lose your head in the clouds. Now I'm not keen on this writing style because at a quick glance, I'm not going to lie, I can't read it. So, um, do more than exist. You just get some like nice different writing and little illustrations and things like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are nice, but I don't know, they're not my favourite. Um, you just get some nice little illustrations and stuff, like this one. Forever is, com Forever is composed of hours, Emily Dickinson. Um, there are some in there that I do like, but for the most part, not really that keen. You get the bigger cards as well. It says, take chances, you get keep it simple. Stuff like that, but they're not like I say, they're not my favorite. Um, but they're three pounds 75, you get quite a few, and it's good to get some different options. Um, I'll just show you the next ones. So, this is the Maggie Holmes collection. I really like these ones. This is a bit more my style, I think. So, we've got adorable, just some quite cute ones of like bunting, a little bow. doily kind of effect. Nice cards to write on which is good. I'm not keen on this grid kind of thing. I like lines. I don't understand why they do. I think they do grid obviously because it probably helps with people maybe like that speak, I don't know, Japanese and they're going to write in a different type of language to us. Possibly. But this is a really this is my favourite card. I love vintage cameras, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I'll just quickly flick through this one. Little robins, I think. So you get a good vintage camera. You get a good selection. You only get one of each card, so for me that's perfect because, like, these are my favourite cards. Ones like this. A little postcard. So cute. They've got a few other ones. They've got like an airmail one in there as well. Let me find the airmail one. There's the little airmail one. Just so cute. I love them. And then we've got the bigger cards as well. In here. Just get a few different things. Again, got cameras, title pages. So they're cool, and then I'll get the last one. These are the dreamy ones. So, hopefully, you can see. Obviously, you get quite a few different time flies, memories, love. Like nice butterfly cards. Um, this is a nice one, a geometric one. You get like, oh, get days of the week cards. I don't know if I quite got all of the days of the week, but I did get quite a few. Monday. Not doing very well at showing you these, but you get the gist. They're very colourful, these ones. Then we get the big cards as well. Beautiful. 
It's good to buy these kind of packs if you like, obviously like me, I don't really want full collections because I'm not doing weekly or daily project life, I'm just doing event, big events that happen throughout the year. Um, and then if you maybe do use a planner, you could put some of the cards in there. Some of them have nice quotes on, so you could use them for that. Um, but for £3.75 you get 60 cards in each pack, so it really is worth it. Um, but that's my haul. Like I said, all of that cost me, including postage, was £30.91. And then Sodflor, they had an extra discount code for 20% off sale items, so I could have saved myself about £6, but never mind. It's, um, as always, brilliant postage, so it's well worth ordering from them. Um, I hope you like it, and I will be back soon hopefully with an update on my project life like a six month update of how far how much i've done this year um and i'll see you soon